Mastering Nonfiction Identifying Main Ideas and Supporting Details Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into an important aspect of English language reading comprehension. Identifying main ideas and supporting details in nonfiction texts. This skill is essential for understanding, analyzing, and remembering what you read. So, let's get started. Nonfiction texts are written to inform or explain something about the real world. This can include textbooks, newspaper articles, scientific papers, biographies, and more. Unlike fiction, these texts are based on facts and present actual events or concepts. Understanding these texts involves not only decoding the words and sentences, but also identifying the main idea, the overall point the author is making, and the supporting details, the facts, examples, or explanations that back up the main idea. When you start reading a non-fiction text, it's crucial to identify the main idea. This is often found in the title, the introduction or the first sentence of paragraphs. The main idea is the author's primary message or point. Remember, the main idea is a complete sentence that includes a subject and a verb. It's not just a topic, which could be one word or a short phrase. For example, a topic could be global warming, but a main idea could be global warming is a major threat to biodiversity. Supporting details are bits of information that explain, define, or prove the main idea. These could be facts, statistics, examples, anecdotes, or quotes from experts. Supporting details are often found throughout the text but especially in the body of the paragraphs following the main idea. To identify these, look for information that expands upon, explains, or strengthens the main idea. For instance, if the main idea is, global warming is a major threat to biodiversity, a supporting detail could be, a two-degree increase in global temperatures could lead to the extinction of 25% of all animal species. The best way to get better at identifying main ideas and supporting details is to practice. Start with shorter texts and gradually move on to longer and more complex ones. After reading a piece, try to summarize the main idea in your own words and list the supporting details you found. And that wraps up our discussion on identifying main ideas and supporting details in nonfiction texts. By mastering these strategies, you'll be able to better understand and analyze the materials you read. Thanks for joining us in this learning journey. Until next time, keep practicing and happy reading.